Australian capital, the Canberra Raiders, coached by Don Fern. Coming from the shores of Sydney and representing Manly, the men known as the Sea Eagles. The referee will be Mr. McCallum. And so Greg McCallum blows the whistle and Cochran it is who starts play. Down over the uh, Canberra quarter line and already we see that slippery ball having a telling effect. It's knocked on there by Dean Lance, the Canberra captain. First scrum of the match will go down. It comes across to Lyons. Lyons on the quarter line is going to be held up 23 metres out from the Canberra line. The ball comes away to Gibbs and Gibbs is well and truly held up there by Todd and also lending assistance is Meninga but it's going to be a penalty. It's obviously referee McCullum that shout, shouted L to uh, the big fella there, Meninga. There you see it. But uh, the penalty attempt being attempted by Mal Cochran from right in front of the post on the quarter line. The chance to send the Sea Eagles away with a 2-0 lead. There's Cochran, moves in, there's the kick, and he's got it. So it's two points to Manly. And after just two and a half minutes play, Manly are leading Canberra by two points to nil. And O'Connor down injured. Now, Michael O'Connor missed last week's game because of this injury. We might go down to the sideline, Ian Hansen. Doesn't look good at all for, uh, for Manly and Michael O'Connor. He uh, went down on that tackle then, clutched his ankle, and uh, it'll be a real body blow if uh, O'Connor's forced off the field after Shearer, in fact, uh, failed to start the game. Hasler, that wide ball comes across towards Barkley. Barkley running it back in amongst the forwards. Mustn't be easy for him out there today because he's played all season in second round and very foreign to be out on the centres. Oh, there's a silly pass, but pit well picked up by Cochran. It goes to Cleal. Cleal's got his pass out here towards Ronson. Ronson versus Corkery. Ronson's got round Corkery. Ronson down to the halfway. He's got Lyons in support. It goes to Lyons. He takes it bitterly one-handed. Lyons for the line. Lyons will score. Good try from Manley. Started by some beautiful work by David Ronson back on his own quarter line as he got on the outside of his opposite number and set Lyons up perfectly. Beautiful position play. He was all on his own. Good play. Now watch Hasler. He takes Belcher out of it. You'll see Belcher appear. There he goes. And leaves the pass on the inside. You find for 5-8. In for the try. Good football. Here's Cochran moving in. The attempt to convert the Lions. Try it straight over the dot. So Manley has skipped away to lead by eight points to nil. And that's Kevin Walters from Dummy Half. Only 17 or 18 metres out from that Manly line. Steve Walters. Steve Walters still going. He's only 10 metres away from that Manly line. As it comes out now to Henjack. Henjack's long pass finds Jackson. Jackson trying to get the pass away. He does. It goes to Belcher. Belcher's pass comes back on the inside. It's a try. It's a try to Canberra. I think Bacco has scored. Let's wait and see who gets up. But I think it's big Sam Bacco who scores the try. And Canberra... Hit back immediately with a good try and good football, especially from Jackson and Belcher. Now, Henjak, long ball out wide here to Jackson. He steps and he squeezes the ball out the top. Good backing up from the full back and good play on the inside there. That's how to follow the man with the ball. Strength takes him over. Watch the wide out angle. Now, that's a good step by Jackson. He knows exactly what's happening. Good support play by the full back inside. That's what forward play is all about. The man that Don Ferner discovered playing in a pub side, would you believe, here in the, the ACT. Originally comes from Ingham in North Queensland, so there'll be plenty of supporters for Sam Bacco up there. Here's uh, Meninga back towards the quarter line. There's the kick. He's got it high in the air. I think it's going to go across the face. It does. And so the score here remains after about 17 minutes play. Manly leading Canberra by eight points to four. Getting very dark here at Canberra in uh, Queanbeyan as well now as Henjack got the ball back. It goes to Belcher. Belcher's got Meninga in support. The big man for the corner. He won't get there. Great cover defence from Borton. He's only about five metres out as it comes from Kerry to Belcher. He's knocked it backwards. He'll get up and play it. Only eight metres out though from that manly line as Henjack goes the blind side. Away it goes to Meninga. Meninga trying to force his way over. And the big man's been pushed across the touch line, says the touch judge. And so the scrum will go down only a few metres out from Manley's line and 10 metres in from that scoreboard touchline. Barkley, Lyons. And Lyons has gone without it. It's loose. vorton has got it. Vorton. Players, uh, it's almost like a skating rink out there. Lyons is flat on his face in the background. He's not moved. 
10 metres inside Canberra's territory. Cliff Lines, he started to move then, so the Manly trainers are on it. What a hit that was as Gibbs, but look at that Gibbs go. She's a hard man to stop as Cochran goes from dummy half. Cochran over the quarter line. Boyle, Boyle for the line. Boyle then. Try to Manly. Cochran spotted the opening, went down to the quarter line, and Quill just tracked him through like a shearer's dog and has scored right next to the post and Manly lead 12-4. Once again, we see Ashley Gilbert make the mistake. And there's a big crusher. Look at his face. You beauty, he said. And what a time to score. And there's the kick, and it's successful. And so Manly skip away to lead by 10 points. It's 14 points to four as we go to the sideline and Ian Hansen. Thanks, David. Yes, uh, bad loss here for Manly. Uh, O'Connor off the field. And as we tipped, uh, Greg Austin, uh, who just flew in from England, is, is on. And Canberra take it up the short side as it comes out to Corkery. Corkery, get, well, he got away from Austin. He almost lost the ball. In fact, Manly have got it now. Broken chair. Broken chair running like a three-quarter is cut down in good defence by Meninga. Down on the quarter line as Gibbs sends it back the other way. It goes to Lyons. Lyons pass comes out to Cochran. Cochran's over the quarter line. He's got Austin in support. Austin for the corner. Austin very close for wait for the referee. I think it's a try to Austin. Great try, David, and fully deserved. And I'm afraid Canberra Raiders, they fell for the dummy there. They held off. You can't afford to hold off and let the attack come to you. Beautiful long ball out here. See Cochran. Beautiful play. Feeds the wingman. Now this guy goes in for his fifth try of the day. Four in reserve grade. No doubt about it. Now watch the play of Lyons here. He's injecting himself well. He throws a dummy inside. Now look at the Canberra Raiders. They didn't move up. They left it wide open. And he's pretty fast, is Cochran. And good play here. Enjack was the man coming to cover, but far too late. His first try of the season in first grade, but as Devo said, his fifth try of the day. And uh, young Greg Austin just may want to come back to uh, see the Oval Queen Vianne every week. There's the kick from Cochran. It looks fairly good. Oh, and he just missed. So there's half time. Good tackles affected there by Dean Lance as Gibbs comes down the centre. He's got away from the first defender, which was Lance. He can't get through the next pair of uh, Canberra players. There's now a little chip and chase from Cochran. And look at that. Would have done an Australian cricketer proud, that one. In fact, it was almost a belly flop from Steve Walters, the, uh, the hooker. And there's so much water on the field, it probably wouldn't have tickled anyway. There's a kick from Meninga. It's going to guess. Oh, doesn't go into touch. It rolls back into the in-goal area. Williams is there. Carey's up there chasing. He's away from Corkery. Now Meninga's got him. Oh, and Meninga. Meninga has hit the... Uh, Mal Meninga has hit the, uh, the upright in effecting that tackle. Oh, well, this is, this is something that you hate to see in rugby league. Just... Pure accident, and oh, dearie me. I know they have padding on those, uh, those goal posts. And that's something that uh, we hate to see in rugby league. Well, he's obviously done something to his left forearm there, and... Uh, oh, gee, I'm I hope it's not broken or anything. I really do, gee, it, it, he crashed into that pole. I thought the pole was going to uh, go down injured for a while. I don't think I'd like to be tackled by Bellman Ingot. Well, Canberra have got the ball anyway, down towards the quarter line, so they've got a chance now. They're attacking, and that's Gilbert. And uh, Meninga is definitely leaving the field as it comes across now to Jackson. Jackson puts the ball onto his boot and getting back there and diving on it is Tyshurst. And Tyshurst will get up and play it a few metres out from the Manly line. Well, I don't think you'll see much uh, fancy stuff here from Manly. In fact, the entire second half, I think they'll play really to uh, keeping it very, very quiet indeed. And by the looks of things, uh, Mal Meninga's certainly injured that left forearm or wrist. And Chris Kinner, I think it is, he'll be coming on. Canberra with the ball down towards the halfway line. Still their own side of halfway as Jackson runs freely back on the inside to Belcher. And Belcher down towards the quarter line. The ball comes back on the inside. And Canberra have almost got it down on the Manly quarter line now. 
as Corkery plays the ball. It comes from Henjack, away it goes now to Jackson, and now to little Kevin Walters, and away it goes to Todd, and Todd pass goes to Lance, and back it goes to the second row, and Gilbert scores a try. Canberra back in under the post. Well, under those conditions, David, that is a fantastic try. Here he moves in, there's the extras, and they're there. So are we going to see a remarkable comeback? 12 minutes left in the match. Can they do it again? This huge wind is still at their back. A few metres further downfield. The kick comes in. Down towards the manly quarter line. Tyser is getting back. The ball will beat him across the touch line. It's a fabulous kick from Jackson. There's seven minutes left in the match. 18 metres out. Henjack sends it away. It goes to Jackson again. And Jackson trying to get in behind that manly defence. He's tried very hard, David, this centre. The Queensland boy has done very well indeed. And here's O'Callaghan, who's just come onto the field. Only about 10 metres out, though, as it comes back to Steve Wald uh, to Kevin Walters. He throws the dummies. He's still going. He's got within a couple of metres of the line. Steve Walters, his brother, in a dummy half. That'll be a penalty. It's against Hasler. And he's missed it. Well, I think you can say the writing is well and truly on the wall now. Plays the ball to Cochran. Now it's Cleal who goes down the centre. Cleal is met in good defence. You would have liked this, uh, David, because it really has slowed the game down. Lions. Lions just inside Canberra's territory. Back towards the centre of the field. They're not going to mind. There's the full-time siren in the background. It's all over. So the score here, after what was horrific conditions in the second half, Manly, after leading 18 points to four at half-time, have defeated Canberra by 18 points to 10.